let's talk about different creative financing. First owner financing is a type of real estate transaction where the seller of a property provides financing to the buyer, typically in the form of a mortgage. Instead of obtaining a loan from a traditional lender such as a bank, the buyer makes payments directly to the seller. The seller holds a security interest in the property until the loan is paid in full, and may also require a down payment. Owner financing can be an attractive option for buyers who may not qualify for a traditional mortgage, and for sellers who want to sell their property quickly or who may be able to earn a higher return on their investment. However, it can also be riskier for both parties compared to traditional financing, as there is less legal protection and oversight. Next rent to own, also known as lease to own, is a type of real estate agreement in which a tenant rents a property with the option to purchase it at a later date. Under this arrangement, the tenant pays a monthly rent, which may be higher than the market rate, and a portion of the rent is set aside as a credit towards the eventual purchase of the property. The tenant may also be required to pay an option fee, which gives them the right to purchase the property at a later date. At the end of the rental period, the tenant may choose to purchase the property or walk away from the agreement, with the option fee and rent credits typically not being refunded. Rent to own can be a good option for people who are not yet able to qualify for a mortgage, but it also has potential drawbacks, such as higher costs and the risk of losing money if the tenant decides not to purchase the property. Last one for today is subject to is a term used in real estate transactions to describe a type of financing arrangement in which a buyer takes over an existing mortgage on a property, rather than obtaining a new mortgage. In a subject to financing arrangement, the buyer takes ownership of the property and makes payments on the existing mortgage, with the original borrower, typically the seller, remaining responsible for the mortgage if the buyer defaults. This type of financing can allow a buyer to purchase a property without having to qualify for a new mortgage, but it also comes with risks, as the buyer takes over the obligation to pay the mortgage and is responsible for any defaults. Additionally, many lenders have specific requirements regarding the transfer of ownership in a subject to financing arrangement, and it is important to consult with a financial professional before entering into such an agreement.